Hello everyone, this is Betsy from Ideas Times 2 and today I have a flip through for you. This journal is for sale in our Etsy shop and I'll leave the link for that down below. This, uh, before I get started too, I want to mention it's a design team project for Lindsay Zanor who is nevermorecreations17.com. She and her partner Joanne have um, journals, journal supplies, um, digi kits and printed digi kits and all kinds of stuff so please check out uh, their shop and I will leave the link for them down below um, so <laughs> this is a grungy journal I hopped on the grungy journal bandwagon um, Cindy has had two or three of these journals and you've seen them um, she's had tutorials how to make them I, I will leave her links down below for the videos she had so I just fell in love with them I think they're so cool and um, if I would have if I would have <laughs> been able to I would have purchased them because I just love them so much so I decided to make my own so here it is this is more of a forest theme it's a little bit smaller than the one she made I had a little trouble with my paper bag I happen to have I followed her, her tutorial I thought but <laughs> I had one bag okay I had just just randomly had one bag I save a lot of my paper bags and uh, use them and for different things and journals and stuff and so I had one bag and um, I didn't have any Tim Holtz distress spray which we know works really well because her her covers turned out they were amazing and um, so we know that works really well well not all ink sprays are created equally I made a spray from some ink refill bottle that I had the title the name of the color was chocolate chip so and it was a beautiful brown I've made cards with it and everything but let me tell you what happens when you add a tiny bit of water to the ink refill and spray it on craft paper <laughs> this is what happens just so you know please don't ever do this it turns out purple now I, I never would have thought that in a million years but that's what happened and I've tried to grunge it up different ways and the purple just doesn't go away it doesn't go away the other sides it's okay it's okay um, this yellow was my mistake but I think I can I can fix that maybe anyway I'm gonna make a grungy iris journal so this will come in handy I'm not gonna throw it away I'm gonna use it it was way too much work for me to throw that away um, so anyway <laughs> true story so I'm just saying so it uh, if and when you make a journal out of the paper bag um, please just experiment on a little scrap paper on how your ink is going to spread or how it's going to look after it gets you know sprayed onto your project <laughs> that's enough of that okay so here's my journal it has more of a forest theme and it's five and a quarter by eight my papers were a little smaller um, I didn't have another bag and so this is just some this was this is a bag but it was a totally different size and so I sort of made do with what I had and so when once I open it you'll see it's a little different than um, than Cindy's but but hey I got it to work so that this is what it is so like I said a little bit smaller five and a quarter by eight um, made out of a paper bag just like um, she had nice and crinkly and grungy Hers were, hers were way better, way grungier and gorgeous, gorgeousness. Um, it has a twine closure, and the closure is is um, attached with an eyelet here in the back, and then it just wraps around. And I have a heavy uh, key that attaches onto the bottom to help it stay closed, to give it some fun looks at the <laughs> in the front. Um, so this... Um, let me see let me just say so from Lindsay's paper um, the kits I used were one was called Forest Gems the other one was called Limber Lost uh, Limber Lost sorry I don't know if that came came across very well 
um, so those are the two paper uh, one I just used the Force Gems, I just used the Ephemera and the Limberlost. I used all the papers, almost all the papers. And so the papers wound up to be a little smaller, so this journal is smaller. But So the uh, this is very similar to Cindy's. So there's a, a pocket that wraps around to the back. And in, so in the pocket here, this is collaged up with paper. There's a book plate. She had one of those on hers. I really loved that. So I put that on there too. Um, with some little brads and then so here this large pocket um, it's layered up with paper um, this is from Lindsay's kit here and then this is um, you probably can tell it's Edith Holden and the writing here is Edith, Edith Holden you know I oh, they're just so beautiful I have the hardest time using them but I'm I am using them I just like sometimes I'll leaf through there and I'm like oh it's so pretty yeah I'm not gonna use it it's so pretty but no I need to I need to use them that's why I have it so here is uh, from Lindsay's kit some grunged up paper and I just glued that right onto the cover alright so that just tucks right in there's one signature um, 80 pages fronts including fronts and backs so it's a big fat signature it's put in with eyelets and some binding twine so here's the back pocket it's layered up with index card and some paper um, and then inside the pocket I have sort of another floating pocket and it has an ephemera card and a fold-out sheet everything in here has been either tea dyed or coffee stained and I mean there are a few things that aren't but I made them grungy with ink so and then this is just collaged up with miscellaneous papers and then this is glued right onto the cover. And that's from Lindsay's paper. All right, so let's let's take a look at the inside of this. So the, right away you'll see a difference. This is just one side pocket. At, well, it's actually two. This is a large side pocket. And then on top of that pocket is another smaller pocket here. So I have a tall tag in that pocket. Um, I think this is a Tracy Fox label um, and here's like a faux envelope and it folds out like this and I have a little Mackie stamp in there of a little strawberry. It's so 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 cute. With a rusty paper clip and some burlap. Here's some large um, journaling cards. Alright so let's get started with the paper. So there's a little all these papers from Lindsay's uh, Limberlost. This is from the Forest Gems. So all these decorated papers, or, or all the patterned papers, are from Lindsay's kit. So there's some washi tape there. Isn't that adorable? I love that. This is from an index colored index card. It's tea stained, and then I have um, a grunged up tag in there. This these. Uh, wings are from, I just cut out a body for this butterfly, but these wings are from Wonderful Wings from Gecko Gals. I have a few Gecko Gal, Gals items in here um, because I have a lot in my stash, but um, these are actually not glued all the way down, and I was my plan was to use it as a tuck spot, but the angle I put the butterfly on, I'm not sure if anything would really, I mean it would stay, but I just don't know if it would look good. That like that's too close to the spine. Maybe something little would tuck in there. But that was my plan anyway. So here's a cute paper with foxes, pine cones. This is from Lindsay's kit. There's paper or not paper, it's fabric ruffled on the side of that pocket. And here's a fold-out sheet in here. That one has some beautiful tea staining on it. short page. There's a little sorry silk here and a Tracy Fox label. Um, here's some journaling. Here's a tag, journal tag. This is from Gecko Gals, the sunflower. This is a decoupage napkin on cardstock. And I think that's the last of that napkin set that I have. And I'm sad because I love it. It's so beautiful. All right, so this paper, I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, like twigs and branches. It's pretty cool. 
This is also a decoupage napkin. Um, not intentional that they're so close together, but it's it's fine, right? So here's a tag with a pocket, a um, little collaging on it, and some washi tape down there. This paper is from my stash. There's a little uh, book page envelope I made, put a little stamp and some um, cheesecloth on it. And then inside here are some tiny little ephemera cards from Lindsay's kit, Forest Gems. And I just clip that on. I'm going to replace a lot of these clips with uh, the rusty ones. Some ink sprayed paper there. Um, so here's a, a tuck spot pocket. So this has just a little tabbed index card and then ephemera from the kit. This page is from the Limber Lost. Isn't that so pretty? So pretty, I love it. Little collaging here with fabric and paper and some uh, crackle stamping on there. Oh, these are all things from Lindsay's papers. So I just put a little lace on there. And this has index cards that I stitched around and they're all grunged up. And those go, gets clipped on the edge. Here's some sprayed uh, tracing paper. The center of the signature has a um, an envelope. So um, this, um, okay, so I've clipped uh, a couple of tickets on there. And then this is just a little collaged um, tag. It just fits right in there so that the mushrooms or toadstools show in the window. And then this one is just collaged up. And there's a, an ephemera card in the pocket of that one. So I saved the flap on this side. This side I just um, made it into a like a floating pocket. The other part of that tracing paper, some more crackle stamping, and then here is a, a stamp I got. I do not know where I got it. It might have been from Tuesday morning. Um, just so so cute with those little um, like specimen. It's got the Latin name underneath each one. So cute. There's a little paper and washi tape um, collage. There's a little muslin in there as well. Here's a side tuck with some ephemera cards in there. This little short page has um, a tuck with a tag in it. Some dots from my um, pizza pan when I tea stain. Little belly band with tags. Short page from my stash. Um, I just put a little tab on it, and here is a little collaged um, tag, uh, ephemera card, and this is a label. I'm not sure where that is from. Some little uh, round tags, and um, I just realized I was going to put a little ribbon on the top of there, so I'll probably sew, sew some little ribbons on there. Just a little round. I was I was ready for something round. <laughs> so I put those there. So here's a paper bag um, tuck spot. So I put a, a grunged up index card there. Little label, some collaging, and then there's a, a tag inside of there. So that gets in, goes inside of the paper bag and this goes behind the paper bag. I thought it was appropriate to have a paper bag spot in the paper bag journal, right? It's appropriate. So here's some Tim Holtz fabric that I ruffled on the edge of there. And then this is um, a flip. A little floating pocket flip. So it's just collaging here, washi tape here, and lace. And then it opens up. And I have a fold-out sheet in there. This is actually a Gecko Gals paper. It's pretty neutral. It was lovely to work with. And then in the back of there is a pocket with a tag. This is a Gecko Gals tag. The hum of bees is the voice of the garden.
and I just did some stamping on the back. Just a little image that's hiding underneath the flip. The end. So here's another, this is exactly the same as the front, so there's a large um, side pocket, and then I put two pockets. So this one is from that, you know, that, that large uh, pocket that wrapped around, so that's just like the front on, in that regard. So there's that. This is just glued on, a little punch out from one of the papers. And then I made a, a small, smaller pocket down here for this tag. So, so that one's got a double, a little double pocket place. And then here are some ephemera cards, some loosely watercolored, uh, grunged up butter, uh, butterfly image here. Did I say some? I didn't mean to say some. So this is a grunged up watercolor. And then this is um, the remains of a file folder, it's like one half of a file folder. So it's, it makes a nice little. Uh, journaling card and so those get tucked right in there and I think we went over the back already yep so this wraps around like this a couple times and then you can just wrap the key around once or twice and it should hang down nicely for you all right that is it for my grungy journal it smells a little bit like coffee and um, it's nice and crinkly and it just feels wonderful in the hand so um, I will uh, leave the links I mentioned down below and so please join us please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel we would love to have you along for lots of tutorials and content different types of content on our channel and we appreciate you so much thank you to all of our subscribers we appreciate you so much and um, I guess that's it for now take care everybody goodbye